This question is a geometry question. Appeared as a one mark question in 2016 CBSE class 10 board examination. Concept tested as circles, in particular properties of tangents in circles. Let's read the question. PQ is a tangent at a point C to a circle with center O. So PQ meets a circle at C and at the center of the circle is O. AB is a diameter and angle CAB measures 30 degrees. So this angle measures 30 degrees. What we need to find out is a measure of angle PCA. This is the angle that we need to find out. Solving this question is a two-step process and involves two properties. Let's get started with the diagram that we have. In the first step, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be joining OC. O is the center of the circle. C is a point on the circumference. So OC is a radius to the circle. So let's look at triangle AOC. In triangle AOC, one of the sides is OA. The other side is OC. What are OA and OC to the circle? OA and OC happen to be the radius to the circle, which means they'll measure the same. So in triangle AOC, Two of the sides OA and OC measure the same which means this triangle is an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle is one in which two sides are equal and correspondingly two opposite angles are equal. Which are the angles opposite to these two sides? Angle opposite to OC is angle CAO. Angle opposite to OA is angle ACO. So these are the two angles which are equal. Now comes the point, do we know any one of these values? Let's just write down which two angles are equal. Angle CAO is equal to angle ACO. Both these angles are equal. Angle CAB is equal to 30 is something the question mentions. CAB is nothing but CAO. So these two angles are going to measure 30 degrees. So step one, using the property of isosceles triangle, we have found out the measure of one of these angles. Step two, we're going to be using properties of tangents in a circle. PQ is a tangent, meets a circle at C. OC is a radius drawn at the point where the tangent meets the circle. The second property is the place where the tangent meets the circle, the radius drawn at that point will be at right angles to it. So this angle, angle PCO, angle PCO is equal to 90 degrees. So this property is going to come of use to us. Angle PCO is equal to 90 degrees. We know the measure of angle ACO is equal to 30 degrees. What we need to find out, angle PCA, this angle is nothing but angle PCO minus angle ACO. We know the measure of these two angles. One angle measures 90 degrees. The other one we computed it to measure 30 degrees. So angle PCA is equal to 60 degrees. Quickly recap these two properties in a printed form as we solve this question. Sides OA and OC of this triangle end up being radii to the circle, which means in triangle AOC, two sides are equal. It's an isosceles triangle correspondingly to opposite angles. Angles OAC and angles OCA will be equal and they measure 30 degrees because CAB is equal to CAO which is going to be equal to 30 degrees, right? So next point is the second property. OCP is the angle. This is the angle between the tangent and the radius. That is the right angle. So we know OCP is 90 degrees. We know angle ACO is equal to 30 degrees. So the angle that we need to compute, angle PCA is the difference between these two which is equal to 60 degrees. The two concepts tested, let's quickly recap them. The first concept is angle between the radius and the tangent at the point where the tangent meets the circle is a right angle, it's 90 degrees. The second property is that of an isosceles triangle, two sides and correspondingly to opposite angles of an isosceles triangle will be equal. 